what's up guys it's me gmx so today i'm going to do a unboxing and a first look test on the beach tech preamps you all know i really hate syncing the audio in the post production especially i really don't like to do any editing i use a shutter remote to record and directly upload it but due to the hiss on my panasonic g7 with a road micro that is not a problem of the panasonic g7 that is not a problem of the road video micro that is the problem of the preamps on the mirrorless and dslr camera built in normally when you record your video you need to fix in the editing software the brand background noise so to so for this audio test i'm running the washing machine in the background if the road micro can pick up the noise so currently i'm speaking in front of the panasonic g7 with the road video micro and then here is the beach tag preamps so here we go as a disclaimer they have sent me free for the review again this is a disclaimer you're going to hear my personal opinion and i'm going to give you my honest opinion if it suck at the end of the day i could not recommend it so now let me open it to be honest the packaging is like quite simple i mean this is like the old school packaging i mean you can easily hang on your store to be honest with you the size is like small let me show you from the front and then from the back also so this is from the back can the camera focus so now let me open it so okay and then this is a TRS cable number one thing number two another TRS cable number 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 three uh, three I think a quarter inch mount and I think a quarter inch thread if I'm not wrong about the size and especially the here we go here we finally go with the rod i mean the beach tech the beach tech dx micro pro the high def audio adapter in this video i'm not going to do any kind of review only i'm going to do the installation and then i'm going to test it to be honest with you on my road uh, on my road video micro with the panasonic g7 so currently i'm going to switch the camera to my compact camera so i want to show you the installation how i'm going to do it the image quality is going to be so now here it is so now the number one question is should i need to mount on the camera you can mount on the camera using this thread with the allen key which come in the k box so i think i'm going to mount on the camera it's let me be honest with you so to do that so I need to put a uh, hot hot shoes under it let me zoom in the camera so now I'm going to put a uh, hot shoes under it it's very easy it comes with everything you want so here we go just wanted to put like this and then try to use the Allen key I'm really very happy the build quality is very good to be honest with you I'm really surprised by the build quality of it Beach Tag is a USA company to be honest with you there was like Juice Link and another company which is from China Ceremonic or something like that at the end of the day I found out this is the best option for it and now I'm going to take out my road video micro cam and now i'm going to take out the road video micro from the camera here we go and then i'm going to mount on the top to be honest with this quite heavy i think it can damage the hot shoes of my camera but let's see okay it becomes a little bit heavy this way or we can go another way okay this way is okay before that make sure you have a 9 volt battery i'm using a recharge ever battery let me take it out and then 
let me put inside putting like this now it's okay make sure to turn on the power of it okay and make sure to turn off the phantom power or it's going to damage and now i'm going to use the trs cable from the out to my camera which is here let me show you which is here and now i'm going to plug in my road video micro first turn on the camera and now I'm going to plug in the road video micro into the either left or right if you have stereo microphone you can use the ST but left or right I'm going to put on the left and make sure the phantom power is off and then I'm going to put the mic into the mono and then now I'm going to pour or choose the mic on the side let me take out the dead cat so you can easily see what's going on so here finally we go it's not cautious easily The horseshoes is small for this one, I don't know why it's not going inside. So this is not the right solution I think so because the horseshoes is small and it's not going inside. Anyway, screw it, another solution. Now, I'm going to take off turn off this one turn off my camera I'm going to mount underneath it which is I think the best solution for it going to take off it so I'm going to put underneath like this uh, here we go okay now finally here we go and now I'm going to turn on the camera plug into out turn on the power the main thing is to worry is about the phantom power I really don't want to damage my road video micro with it and now plug the road with a micro on the top to the left channel when I when I do not plug hello 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 can you see can can you can the camera see there is nothing showing up now I need to plug into the left channel and then set the left channel gain to the high and then I need to put into the mono so Here's one thing, if you're going to just use a normal microphone, make sure to put it into left or right channel, left or right channel, and then try to put in the mono. If you put in the stereo, it will only record on the left or right side, depending on the which channel you have put. And then now we need to go to the menu. So in menu, we need to go to the recording level. We need to put the decibel below 12 according to the box it says that if you're using a Panasonic camera try to put it below 12 if you're using the older Canon camera or you're using the Nikon camera try to put it on the lowest level as possible so normally I'm just going to put it like below below 12 yeah below 12 still is recording let me see 
so when I put the gain low lower it's now higher hello hello so that's ready so now let's switch the camera and then see how it sounds so now you are hearing me through the beach tech audio again as a disclaimer this is not a review this is a f just a beginner first look audio test i need to play around with the decibel gain to understand which is the right setting for me it's not going to be the same for everyone and you need to take into consideration in which room you are recording the audio in which kind, kind of environment are you recording the audio are you using a audio blanket or the movie blanket or no are you using the sound proofing form or no currently i'm in a very big room there's bazillion noises can came here the machine is running the refrigerator is running the aircon is running so there's a bazillion variable which can affect the audio but let's see how well it performed compared to the before i was using the road video micro into my panasonic g7 mirrorless camera now i'm using the road video micro into the beach tech dxa micro pro preamps and then plugging it into the camera i hope you can get the sound clearly and then understand how i am sounding so now here to be honest with you this quite background noise let's see how well it performed let me be silent I hope you get a better picture overall the build quality is robust to be honest with you there was a little bit I don't think so a design problem there there's some problem with the hot shoes mount I cannot mount my road video micro on the beach tech which is a sad part so now I need to mount the beach tech under the Panasonic G7 if you are interested and in make sure to check out the link for right now I can easily say 9 out of 10 I'm deducting one point which won't be like a big gun it's like a really minor the hot shoes I don't know why I could not mount my road video micro on it or but overall the build quality is built like a tank let me be honest with you it's a build like a tank if it dropped down you know what my Panasonic G7 can broke but it won't broke there are some another preamps or something like that like Tascam 60D Mark II please do not buy that crap of a shit yes I have used it and then it gave me a lot of hissing noise I hope so this is not going to give me and then I heard a lot of horrible story on the Tascam because Tascam is nowadays very cheap in Hong Kong we don't know we can I can get Tascam Mark 60D for around 100 20 bucks brand new in the box the problem is that the build quality are absolutely horrible if it fell down I mean it's gone compared to the beach tag I do not see any reason to put, pick up the juice link really to be honest with you which is like three times more the cost overall the build quality is really amazing the build quality is really really outstanding not outstanding it's amazing People like us, we use 3.5 millimeter microphone. Yes, you can use a XLR microphone with the phantom power, but I really don't want to use. I'm a guy who love his raw video micro due to the size of it. I really don't want to use a shotgun, longer shotgun mic. Technically, raw video micro is also a shotgun mic. I'm really happy that I mean. To be honest with you, sometimes you buy something, okay, you like it. Sometimes you buy something, you say it's bad. Sometimes you buy something it exceed your expectation again the build quality is awesome i did not review the sound which is recording right now after uploading the video i mean after recording the video i'm going to edit it i'm not going to do any kind of editing on the sound i'm only going to put the clips together because i i had recorded this video with two cameras i'm just going to put it together with absolutely zero editing with zero any kind of effect the main point i bought this one so i can record the video because you you know understand my youtube channel is all about technical answering people question i can pick up my tablet and then pick up the shutter remote click press record answer the question blah 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 again press record stop and upload i'm not a guy i really don't like editing video i'm a guy of resourcelessness i really don't want to 
increase my production value to in certain level that it become a burden on me so i hope so you like and make sure to check out the links in the description box below and then i want to hear from you what do you think about the audio this is one of the most easiest settings you need to do plug the road video micro into left or right jack it depends i mean again you can uh, it's your choice it doesn't really matter and then uh, put the trs cable 3.5 millimeter cable into your camera audio jack to the out of the beach tag and then make sure to turn off the phantom power make sure to put it on a mono because we're recording with micro one microphone you can record with two microphone which will be useful which will be i will be doing in some upcoming fairs in hong kong and then turn on it i hope you enjoy subscribe and bye